Hi, um, hi, Phoebe. Hello. Hello. Okay, I will send for everyone to link. Um, the first one is uh, if you go to the short link, it's the AB Marketing Reco uh, Recover. So it's mainly the initiative that I'm um, going to work mainly to. Um, I will share the screen so that we can enter. Wait, wait. I will, uh, okay. I will share my, my screen so that you know where I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, welcome everyone to this uh, consultancy space. Um, so this is a very open space that we're going to come here to, um, so that I can have you to look everything in the bigger picture. And then we can also share the GCB and also share the learning among uh, ourselves. Um, if you come to the first link that I sent for you, uh, you can see the whole marketing recovery initiative. So it's not, it's not going to be something that different from the AI, AI part, but it's going to be the thing that I think in our region, we need to build a foundation so that we can um, make it, like how say, when we have any campaign or any direction from AI, we are able to recover. And here you can see um, the, the content of uh, if you go here you can see the content of the digital ecosystem that i'm gonna guide in for everyone and also here you can see the community uh guide that i'm already finished for everyone um so anyone that uh, you want to working for the community and also want to get the console for digital ecosystem i'm gonna let's register because uh, i'm gonna focus on the people that register for um this two initiative but for the research, uh, if you go to this link, uh, I'm, I'm still finalizing everything. So everything about our discussion and our uh, consultancy space gonna happen in this link. Okay, so you can go to this link. So if you click on that, you can see this one. Uh, later on, uh, this is gonna be the space that I'm gonna collect all of the input, uh, including the material, including everything that are assembled and the GCP uh, in this place. So that uh, it can have you like a resource that you can come to get what you need for your market research. Uh, but also uh, in here, I'm not going to uh, teach for you any uh, thing about market research because I think you maybe know about it all, uh, almost. Um, yeah. Let's keep this part. Okay. So for the objective of today, the main part that we're going to talk about is I, uh, because I see in that, we are uh, we are doing market research and there's a lot of people doing a lot of research at the same time so what is the picture of market research and how is it gonna be different with the recovery plan that we need to do the research also uh also what kind of research that we should take in um the main output of the meeting today so that uh from the from this kind of thing I, you can map out what is the key thing you need to focus and what can be the result that you can take in forward and also we can share the gcp but then in the next consultancy, based on the biggest concern that we have, we can focus on um, the specific research that we're going to talk about today. So at first, um, yeah, I'm just a very quick um, recap about what is market research uh, because I want to have everyone on the same page about this. So the market research that we are mentioned here is about the business by us to understand business by us and that, to know about target audience and also the customer. So um, because you're gonna see a lot of analysis, right? But it, but you need to classify that the quality analysis and quantity analysis that we're gonna do with the whole MC team is the thing that can have us look at Isaac as a whole organization and how we can move in with the whole organization. But then in terms of marketing, brand communication and product development, uh, then what's gonna be the research that so uh, that allow us to understand the customer so that we can run the attraction and consideration campaign better for the upcoming time. So it's going to be very, very in terms of product development. So this is the market research that I'm talking about. Um, yeah. So before we go and start, I just want to know that uh, have you working on any research for this three attraction yet? And what is the final output that you expect to gain from the market research? from your current um, research? Yeah, so two questions. The first is, uh, are you working on any research right now? And what is the final I would want to see? Um, so anyone you can share about uh, what is the final output you want to see?
Anyone you want to share? Oh, hello. No one share? <laughs> okay, I can go. Um, okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm ready on my way to do the market research and encourage the people, uh, the network to do it. And uh, I think two specific output that I want to see, first of all, about uh, the market share in some of, uh, in my entity uh, and the uh, awareness of the customer who uh, is potential customer in uh, for our product. Uh, the second output I want to see is that uh, the inside the youth behavior that have significant change uh, post pandemic. So that's just mm -hmm. kind of output I want to see when I'm doing the analysis and the research. Mm -hmm. mm. So the first one is market share, second is the consumer behavior. Yeah. Um, mm. It is uh, the research that you're gonna do for GV or G, uh, the new internship also? Uh, actually, I just focus on for GV only. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay, how about other people? Um, you can share if you are not clear with the output that you're having or you have like the, con like, even you don't have any thinking you can about what is your final output, you also can share your concern. Yeah. Mm, anyone else? Uh, I can go. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So actually, we as a marketing of Malaysia, we did an um how to say PIC for market research, but it's belong to uh MCB OGV, and Irene uh is the one who PIC for this one. But uh, I will like I have the weekly meeting to um align with her about the output of the market research and. I really want to see the consumer behavior after the uh, coronavirus pandemic. And the secondly, um, the university timelines also, because uh, the timeline of the university is going to affect a lot of our uh, attraction activities. Yeah. Mm. Timeline and also consumer behavior. OK. Uh, how about other people? You can just say if you are thinking. Or you are working on it. I can go. So mm. for my entity for uh from Indonesia, we haven't started the market research, but we already have the guideline and also the objective of our market research. So our market research will be started in May. Yes, mm. <laughs> in May. Cool. Uh, because our timeline is uh for the attraction is for August. And uh, we are currently working to uh, this setting for the market research. And uh, the final also for our market research will be the customer persona because for now, the persona is, uh, especially for GFE, it will be very different, especially the, the parents' permission and also some of uh, universities, uh, what is it, universities, uh, procedure uh, because we already have the uh, the how to say the KKN the KKN maybe you guys already know about it so uh, the customer persona will be very different so that's why our objective for uh, our market research will be first about the persona and then the market uh, for the expansion mm -hmm. persona and market expansion cool I see Mm. Anyone else? Uh, how about the new internship? Uh, the new internship? Anyone here already have any thinking on starting to work on it yet? Oh, uh, me, 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 Indonesia. Yeah, for the internship, I saw for from the recovery plan from AI, if I'm not wrong, they also suggest to have uh, GE and also GT market research first. So uh, we follow the instruction for the recovery plan because until now we haven't heard any uh, 
what is it the updates for internship so we be better mm. to uh, do the market research first and then how to create the persona itself we will uh, we will uh, wait at the next uh, what is it the next instructions mm. I see okay one last share mm. okay if you don't have it's fine <laughs> um, okay so why I'm asking you about the final output of the market research is because market research is a huge way of thing to do and there's a huge checklist of research that you need to do. And you can see that we have a lot of company like Nelson just working on research and data analysis uh, so that you can understand that there are a lot of type of research. But as a marketing um, and product people, we, we need to understand what is the final output we want to see and expect at the end of the day for the market research. I can give you two examples so that you can understand what is the final output you need to have uh, for the research so that the whole research you can drive on for this kind of output. So for example, the first one, the first one is um, after I doing the analysis, I see in that only 30% of the total sign up is convert to apply, which is up to apply is only 13%. So if your package research is a good one, then after the research, you can draw out the number and the data about why this figure coming from. So for example, the sum of sign up to apply is only 13% because after the research, you understand about customer behavior that only 40 of them return to Isaac.org and 60% of them not gonna go back. And in this 40%, there only 30% of people got convert, for example. Or you can also figure out the number that 60% of your sign up convert to apply three days, which is, which is a very fast process um, uh, from last year's sign up and your activity. Uh, also, 50% of your sign up who cannot uh, convert to apply are not coming from key market uh, because they come from urban and rental market, for example. So from this number and for this three inside with the number here, you can uh, give the reason why your conversion rate from sign up to apply is low. And then from this kind of thing, you can understand, okay, then what going to be the conclusion is what I need to go up uh, to come up with my marketing strategy so that I can get more people. So for example, I'm gonna uh, review my short of lead and I'm gonna focus more on the last year sign up attraction to uh, get them applied because based on the data and based on the review, I'm seeing this is something that happening. So this is the first example. Second, a um from the UT, the second example of a good uh, research output is from the tracking, from the data that I track, the sign up from physical attraction is decrease 10% in total contribution every year. So that for example, in the last year, in the last two years, it's decreased by 20%. In this year, it decreased by 10%, uh, 10% uh, only 10% contribution, for example. So which means 90% of the sign up actually come from digital. So from this kind of thing, our research need to understand about custom consumer behavior so that we can understand why this number of sign-up is decreased. So for example, after I running a lot of external research, I, I also running about the research for my target customer and thinking and I realize that 80% um, of my target customers spend their time on social media rather than going out. And uh, one minute is the maximum focus. Uh, spend that they can have for one content that see on social media, for example. Uh, or 90 percent of them usually go for product review or community sharing to see the product and call before they uh, buy in or they sell for any product. So for example, so from this kind of data, I can give the conclusion that, okay, then my marketing strategy in the upcoming time need to shift to uh, digital marketing stronger or uh, my way of create up content need to be one minute production uh, and touchy content for example so that I or I can encourage LC in community market marketing so that I can get the raw customer review um, for example so this is something that at the end of your research if you can draw the key the right data and the right insight about your customer then you know that this, your research is a good one and based on that you can understand and from the final output you can 
think about what can be the thing that you can do the uh, what can be the tab research you can do yeah so in the tab research there are usually two types the primary research and the secondary research so this part is the thing that I need you to uh, work with objects people because in this part you can understand what kind of research you can do so that you can um, do for spec for different pro product so for example primary research is the first hand data for you to understand about brand uh, and it's useful for the segmentation in the new product and also establish by a person now so I think uh, my suggestion is if you are working with a new internship program uh, the primary research is the type of research that can that you can specifically using for this kind of thing because uh, um, we can look it back into the best data of GA and GT, but then at the same time, we need to know, we need to admit that uh, based on the new packaging of uh, new, uh, internship, they define the product in short term, medium term, and also long term package. Then, how we can research and understand about them. Um, so, for example, the primary research is the one that you can use uh, to segment. So, for example, based on the three packaging that AI provide for me, long term, short term, and long term. Uh, then how many segmentation that I can have? And then based on this kind of segmentation, how I can look deeper inside to see which segmentation is suitable for me. For example, uh, for my market, is the thing that we can look into and use, utilize for the new product like the new internship right now. Or if in your market you haven't run any uh, EY activity before and you want to start running it now then this can be a way for you to start doing it um, the second one is the secondary research so usually this research is using for growing the external trend report on the number of the internal market sale market marketing and sales process so it's gonna be very uh, useful for your uh, you to analyze the, con the competitor and review the marketing and sales funnel so that, uh, especially in this case, I would suggest it's gonna be for GV when you already know about your uh, segmentation, you know about your um, your bio persona, but then right now you need to review about your your competitor because in this of uh, uh, because right now, for example, I would say the competitor for Isaac for us right for GV right now is not the direct competitor like before the pandemic. Before the pandemic, the direct competitor, the mostly our competitor is uh, are the youth opportunity. But right now, we have a lot of indirect competitor, like such, for example, uh, e, um, the the baron, um, not baron permission, but the student need to spend the time to study, for example, and this kind of thing it take up their time in the in the way in the time that they can actually spend for GV, for example. So we need to look into a, a lot of indirect competitors in this period of time. Um, so that's it for the four types of the uh, research. And from this kind of four types of research, you can see what is the uh, internal, micro-external research, macro-analysis, and micro-internal research. So for the macro intern, for let's talk about the macro-analysis first, because I think it's going to be very useful for you right now. Um, there are gonna be two uh, way of research for the macro and no two way no two source of research. First is the public research. Uh, usually it's gonna be the government report or externally information. Second thing is uh, it's usually commercial re um, source for you. So in here, I'm gonna suggest you to look into the industry uh, report or the trend report and also the market insight report. If you look into the industry report, you can find. Uh, the education industry because I say in non formal education industry so that you can look into um, the what are they talking about what is the rejection for the industry uh, of education after the pandemic how's gonna ship uh, is it gonna go to online course for every education or, or not for example so that we can understand about how the industry is going so that we can see whether our product can be a part of can can catch up with the trend of the industry or not because i think it's gonna be uh very helpful for you um and then for the uh 
um, for the micro internal. So this is something that you already know. It's gonna be in the internal source e down so get s bar or you can have entity operation report uh and this is the part that uh usually product people they know more because they have the tracker um also for the micro external so for the micro external um analysis is gonna be um first is the explore one so explore is look like you conduct a research in a small group of people so that you can define the segmentation. So I would say, for example, uh, I want to research about which, which people in my university can go on the chain for the new internship. So I'm gonna look into the potential background of EP that can go on the internship and then I can try to do the segmentation with them based on the short term uh, internship the medium and the long term and uh divide by year for example and then from this kind of thing uh the next the next part is specific research is how i can do the research with specific target of segmentation so that i can understand them deeper with the specific concern so for example if i after i segment them and then i see in that um the medium term of four year uh, student in my target for the internship then I'm going to conduct a specific research for these people with a deeper analysis and deeper understanding about them. Yeah, so this is the whole big picture of the market research that we, we're going to do. Uh, but at the same time, as you can see here, as you can see here, we don't need, we don't need to don't run every research for every product at the same time. Because uh, based on the example that I just say now, you can see that there are some research that you can do for the new internship. And there are some research that you can actually um, do for GV. And you can customize what type of research that you are doing, for example. So, um, so in this part, I want to know your concern. Uh, I want to ask you about, okay, so in this part, um, what are the type of research that you wanna draw? And do you have any concern or do you have any question on what's the thing that you need to prioritize to do research right now? Yeah, so um, you can start to giving the concern or you can start to asking. Mm. The question is, um, what is the research that you are intend to run and the concern that you're having for, for this part. If you have a concern, you can say, or if you don't have, you can say no, so that I would know. <laughs> Anyone? Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, in this part, I'm going to introduce for you a bit more about, um, I'm not gonna go deep too deep, but I'm gonna introduce about what can be the research that you can look into. So for the macro analysis, um, the macro analysis as you see above is gonna be about the external trend something. So it's, it's mainly about, we understand about uh, the external environment that gonna affect to our biopersonal. And especially in this case, is the buying power. Um, so I, there are something that I can see from the external concept, uh, context that we can see right now. If for example, um, government become more strict in traveling after pandemic uh, and economic if, uh, if falling. So it's gonna affect to the buying power, for example. So these are the insights that you can get from the public source. And also the customer have a tendency to be everything digital after um, COVID-19 routine. So this is something that the insight that you can gain from, uh, that you can gain from the um, commercial report. So um, I would just introduce you. So first, the best of, I think that you already know about the best of, but what is this best of for? So this battle is more about the public shot and it can give you a big picture about 
uh, what is happening in this country. Um, so this battle analysis uh, is going to include be political. What is the political situation uh, of the globally or in your or nationally that affect to your to Isaac? Economy, how is it going? Um, the society, how much important the society and the like the culture here gonna affect to your customer? The technology, is there anything improving in the technology or is there any um, new thing? For example, Facebook is having a uh, Facebook room or Zoom is very developed right now. Uh, for online course, for example, environment. Uh, this sorry, this is weak. So, what other environmental concern for the industry? Uh, mainly for us, it is about industry, about education. So, the environment is not gonna be a very big concern. Uh, about legal, is there any legislation or legal um thing policy in the country that you need to know? So, in this kind of thing, you can understand that. The best or a model usually is using for you. It can be more helpful for you and also the MC to do it together, so that you can understand about the whole country context and you can understand about everything that's gonna happen to um every every product in your entity as a whole. Um, so it's gonna be. I recommend you to do this kind of thing in the first step of every macro analysis. Um, the set the next one is. Okay, after you already understand about the whole context, then uh, how I can understand about my industry. Then this is the time that you can use the five fork um, analysis. And in this, in this five fork, you can understand about um, the threat that's happening and what is the bargaining power of your customer. So I think in this uh, asset context, it's not gonna be a lot of things that uh, the, the in this asset context, the thing that we can see is um, the threat of substitute. So this is the, the biggest threat that we can see in the upcoming time, especially in the winter peak, because there are gonna be a lot of um, things that replace the leadership development opportunity for customer, especially when they are not worried about the leadership in this moment, they are worried more about uh, being safe, have a good health in this period of time, for example. Um, so this is something that when you start to understand about your industry, then you can look into it. Um, my suggestion, if you look into five four, you can look into the five four of the co of, uh, of the company that kind of similar to Isaac. I would say for example, e education first. Um, you can look in for the education first um, analysis, or you can look in for the analysis of the non formal education industry so that you can understand about what's going to happening right now with uh, the edu non formal education industry and then from that you can understand okay then if my product if the current gv is it how we how we can maintain and become the market leader in in the um, in this industry and also if we have the new internship program then how we can get into the market uh, because because for after the COVID-19, uh, is it going to be an opportunity or is it going to be a threat that we're going to work in um, the, for, for, for the internship, um, for the people who want to go on the internship? I would say, for example, is uh, like what I say for example, is after uh, COVID, maybe the, um, the remote internship, for example, or after COVID-19, people is more uh the internship increase more because there's a lot of people they lose the job for example then they need to look into the internship in other countries so that they can find a better job for example so this is something that you can look into especially when you uh, want to research for the industry okay and then um at the same after you understand about the industry then how to understand your about your competitor so in this case i would say it's more it can be more relevant for gv when uh, you already know about your target customer and you already know about who um you need to um who who can be your competitor in this kind of thing so for example you can see that right now um education first gonna be one of your competitor then you can utilize this kind of thing to do the market research about them so that so that you can understand what can be your adding value. 
Um, so I would say, for example, here you can see the example of Netflix. Um, but in so, but in this context, I would say um, I would give you another example. Um, for example, uh, Zoom. How Zoom appear? It actually Zoom would work great because they do an analysis of Google Hangout and also the old company of the Zoom CEO. I forgot the name. So after they do the analysis, they figure out that the strength of Google Hangout is also the weakness of that platform. And also in that platform, they have some strength that Google Hangout cannot meet the uh, meet the, um, the requirement. So and that's why Zoom E appeared because they see that okay with Zoom platform I can provide the I can satisfy both strength and both weakness that the competitor that I have uh, doesn't have for example. So in this case it can be very specific when you can know exactly in your market who is your competitor, uh, so that you can do the swap. But then if you are not clear exactly about what's gonna be your exact competitor in the market, then I think you can just stop in the first four or you can just stop in um, understand uh, the market industry in general. Yeah. Okay. And then in the macro analysis, so in the macro analysis about um, the internal analysis that you want to do with objects people, uh, then I think this is something you already know about that you need to do research about s and research about um, conversion rate uh, and everything. So this is something that I think you already know. But for example, um, to for the external and in the micro market, um, the five key steps that I suggest for you to working on a um, in this uh, in this step. Oh, sorry, it's only four step. Okay, sorry, it's only four step. So the um, so this kind of thing, uh, the first one is we need to define the buyer persona, who are they, the target customer, and then choose a group of do a survey um, and repair the question, the research question. And in the record, a research question, we need to ensure that we asking them the question about, um, we need to ask them the question about the business in general, which is as in general, the, the question about brand awareness. Are they aware about brand? The question about product, uh, understanding like how they understand about uh, the product and the question about the buying power the capacity the consumer and then finally uh, just summarize the insight so um, and um, in this kind of thing in this kind of market research if you doing the research for new product for new internship then I think um, define the buyer persona in um, for the new segmentation is more relevant but then if you do it with research for the GV, for example, then um, I suggest what you can do is you can look into um, not working on the new segmentation, but you look into the old segmentation, but then you you see what can be the target customer that have the most, can have the potential of changing in the behavior. Then you choose this type of people and do research with them. Yeah. So uh, in this kind of thing, then um, I hope that you already understand about the whole um, BBT of the research and what kind of research that you will need to know. Um, so I think in this space, it's going to be the, uh, the space for you to asking the question and also giving the concern about uh, what can you do for the research right now. Yeah. So uh, you can type the question here. Oh, hi, Carlos. Uh, you can type the question here that you have so far for the market research. And you can uh, share with other people about something that you have done if you have any GCP. Yeah. I will let you uh, giving the concern. Anyone have any concern or do you have anything from your current research that you want to know more? I have a, something that we're doing right now is that at least the LCs want to have a bit of ownership on the on the market research. So we had a template and they're running 
things with the template as a minimum, and then they're adding their own questions. Uh, one of the concerns that I have is that a couple of the LCs won't have uh, their own data. Like there's an LC that only has 30 answers and such. So I was wondering, like, how can we uh, run some sort of adaptation of the national persona that we're going to have with with the local one? At least this is just because I just came. Right, so. mm. I understand. Okay. So what's gonna be the difference between the M the national and the LC? Um, right. Uh, so I think uh, in this kind of thing, the biggest con the biggest difference between the MC marketing and the LC is LC they can understand about um market channel, um and also they can understand about uh the market grow performance. For example, uh, they can see that uh, this is the timeline of my university so that I cannot do this kind of thing. Uh, or the, in our university, because we have online course right now, so we have new channel, for example. So this is the biggest role that LC can understand about the market and they can know about it. But then for MC, uh, my suggestion is we need to understand about the whole uh, national biopersona first. And if the LC, uh, they want to do their on the local bio persona and they want to see the customer one usually it have to be how say it have to be in the same with the national one so for example if the national we have the type people that i am the one who did who seek who are finding the development for myself then in the lc level the bio persona not gonna change a lot but the different mainly he is gonna be about the channel or it's gonna be about some minor behavior. So, um, and if they have something different here, I think it's gonna be mainly different in the new internship more than for GV. Because in GV, the biopersona is quite easy to go. Um, and then that's gonna be a lot of different because your market, your LC biopersona, your LC is your key market already. And your biopersona is your, is the biopersona building by from the key market. So it's not gonna be a lot of different. It's just MC, we gonna know more about um, what's gonna be the ch the content that people want to see right now, what's gonna be the inside the pen and again uh, as a big picture. Yeah, but in the MC is more about channel. Hmm. Yeah, is, is it clear for you? Yeah, cool. Okay, how about other people? Uh, how about other people in this part? Is there anything that in the whole guideline that you have done and you have uh, the concern for it? Mm, I see. Do have the slide already? Yes, right. Yes, we have the slide. So you can come to this link. But uh, just to let you know that for the consultancy, I'm not finished everything. I'm just going to uh, do based on the topic that we're going to talk. Um, so the marketing recover, in this marketing recover, you can see the guy, the guy that I'm going to use for um, the three initiative and for the market research is the first link. All good for me. Cool. Uh, we have a question. After doing macro research, just set a test if I saw, how can we utilize? Do you have any example? Um, example. Let me see. Mm. Uh, I think at first, um, if we want to do, I think before uh, we we know the output, we need to see what kind of research that we need to do. Okay, so like for like what I say, the best of it for the macro ma environment and for the five is more about understand about your industry. So for example, um, uh, after you do the research, I would say, uh, the fi the final output is mainly about how this kind of of factor gonna affect to my buyer to the buyer power buying power mainly about it 
So, um, for example, it's gonna be um, the economic, usually the, the factor that's gonna affect the most. So for example, if you want to know after my, um, after the pandemic, whether the people gonna be willing to buy for my product or not, or do they have any other, um, or they, or they still consider leadership and want to develop leadership in this kind of uh, a period or not, then the, when you look into the economic uh, number, you can see that, okay, based on the research, and you can see, you can see that the economy right now is uh, being like this, uh, and it's going to drop being, and people are going to worry in the Maslow hierarchy, people are going to worry more about uh, the safety and the healthcare, uh, this, this kind of thing. So then what's gonna, what can be uh, the thing that we can take in forward to, um, to solve in this kind of in situation? Like for example, in this kind of situation, if people are caring more about the safety, then in the content or in the way that we're doing the content, for example, we're going to use um, 70, 20, and 10%. So 70% if you're going to talking about what is the thing that people care the most, 20% if then you're going to talk about um, all the stuff about the product, and 10% if you do the branding for yourself, do the, uh, do the branding for, the, for ourselves first. And then after that, when you see that the trend of people and what people care, when the economy is gaining back and people is caring more and have going back to the normal life, then we can start talking more about our brand. And we can talk less about uh, the routine, staying at home, this kind of content that we are running at this moment. So I think this can be one way that we utilize. So there's a lot of ways that we can utilize. Uh, this is just one example about content. Um, also, I think that when you do the best store and the fast for the, uh, for example, for the fast for, I think in the thread of substitute, um, it's going to be one thing that we need to under, we need to see, um, in the industry, for example, for the education right now, um, if after we do the fast for, we understand about the state of the industry that right now for the education, people are, start to searching more about online course because they start to have the routine about it. So they're going to start to research more about uh, online uh, platform to learn about something. And they going to start, after they get used to using Zoom on the lecture, then they're going to start to not going for physical event anymore. Uh, and uh, then how we can shift the channel into digital or in, um, Oh, when they use, when they go, when they see that they can access to every course of learning or uh, leadership development on online channel, then why they need to go on a chain, for example. Uh, then this is the a way of substitute that can appear in this uh, situation that you can see. Uh, yeah, so in this kind of thing, we, we can understand. So if right now people have the tendency to, to, study online but then our product is basically going physical and they need to go other in other country then we cannot talking about the leadership only but we need to talk about leadership but then leadership is gaining from the real experience or real or physical touch point or being virtually make us less interactive with each other for example or this kind of thing so the way that you shape the content gonna go into another way because you want to tackle in another uh, market i would say one example um from external market that you can see so that you can you can understand better for example is uh light boy because they realize that in light boy um before we have the sanitizing um product happen mainly they use light boy to take it to washing the body but then after they research and they realize that uh the be the people they have the behavior of using the washing this to wash the hand and they start to uh the customer e, um need something to wash the hand and they start to realize that actually uh, the hand is very dirty so in this case they not create a need they not um go deeper into the the old industry but they create a new industry for them so in this case, this is what I'm trying to give the example for you. Yeah.
but it's mainly coming from the final output that you want to see. Is it clear for you? When a macro research is back to be complete, what about macro research? Uh, macro research, um, it has to be complete before you do the macro research, analyze it. Um, and for example, if you want to do mac, uh, customer interview in May, then uh, right now you already need, you should be able to do the macro analysis already. Uh, for marketing side, um, why you need to, why? Because from the macro analysis, you can understand about the big picture of the whole country from the best store. And also you can understand about the industry, what's happening in the, in the industry. And from the industry, you can have, you can have the assumption about, assumption about the customer behavior change in the industry. And from that, you can see, okay, then what type of segmentation that I need to go more specific to do interview to understand about the change in the behavior. Because we should not do research with everyone, with every uh, changing in the, in, in the uh, behavior, but we need to understand in our industry what going to be the thing that's going to change in the upcoming time. So that based on this kind of thing, you can design the micro analytic questionnaire uh, to understand about uh, the bio person that changing or something. Yeah. So that's going to be the time. Lord, we're running in another way. My hair micro by the end of May by my community manager and my successor. Um, I think it can be okay because in this situation, the macro analysis is going to change all the time. But if you want to start working on the customer interview or something then before that you need to under you need to read some report about what's happening um in the macro analysis yeah it's well to keep ocv network active for april see now they are starting in same oh i see yeah I think then uh, it's okay, but maybe in uh, as, as MC, you can do your own macro analysis. Like uh, mainly what I'm doing with macro analysis, I'm going to go to read the report from the trustful uh, source of, um, source of um, a place. So last time I suggest people to go to this macro analysis. Uh, I understand, Carlos. Um, I think it's fine. I think it's gonna be okay, but at the same time, in the way that they do in macro analysis, uh, MC need to un to at least to have some key insight, so that if they do a macro analysis, if you're asking about by, uh, are you willing to pay ten thousand baht to go on the chain, then you need to have a follow up question. It, also, if you are not willing to pay ten thousand baht to go on the chain, is it because of uh virus corona? That make you that make the family business uh, is not a uh, sustain for example, then uh, you can check the uh, the reason why they paying more or they paying less for one product, uh, for example. So so I mean it's fine, but you need to ship a bit. I can suggest um. I usually uh, come here. So the first one is brand Vietnam, and second this is for Vietnam. But I think they have brand something similar community or I think you can go to OGV Asia so in here you can read a lot of report about the industry so you can look into uh, what's happening and just I mean spending time to read the report because you are MCVP so you need to know about what's happening uh, and what's uh, going around here uh, that's gonna affect to the COVID-19 and you should, and mainly as an MCVP you need to understand about how brand gonna survive in this period of time uh, and how how you see brand make them become stronger for example I can okay Okay, hi guys, I'm just stupid. Uh, go out of the chat. Okay, so I'll send you the link here. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Um, if you want to read, you can call me and read uh, because I think this is a trustful shot. 
but if anyone here you have any other shot that you want to share um that we can learn together yeah you can share if you have okay um okay cool uh we have around five minutes left so uh do you have any other question or do do you have any proposed uh of, okay in the next um consultancy what gonna be the the topic that you want to study deeper inside because in this space it's gonna be mainly about shifting the way that how you want to do your research but in the next way i'm gonna spend more time to talking about specific um topic so that you can um you can we can discuss deeper in in a specific topic yeah so anyone you have other concern any suggestion on how to run a macro analysis or just google as much as we can uh this is a good, good question i my suggestion right now is you can do by two ways first is you need to do uh the report uh, no, you need to read the report but you only read the report from a trustful resource so that you can understand about this kind of thing you can read from ogv or gv or you can read it from mckinsey bob bob harvard business review um but then at the second thing my recommend is let have a mentoring for your marketing uh for your mc marketing because uh this is something that uh, we have in vietnam that we have uh, alumni, uh, and I see Indonesia also have this. We have an alumni that very strong in marketing, and usually these people they understand about Isaac and they understand about the external, and there are a lot of things that a lot of report cannot tell you. But this mentoring they can tell you what can be the trend that you see and what can be the th the thing that gonna change in the consumer behavior. And if right now my my organization want to shift from physical to digital to do attraction right now, then you see what can be the threat or for for us for example. So two things, uh, report and men report and men marketing mentor. I suggest you always have a marketing mentor for your entity in the BOA team, uh, because in every country we need a very specialist people in the real community and to check for them. So you think consulting marketing commission can be useful in any way? Oh, uh, you mean that you gotta do consult for marketing commission or they get a consult for you? Mm. Uh, color? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think this can be good. I think you can ask, Um. yeah. I think you can um, ask them to uh, have a space that they can do, they can read all the report and then they can collect all the inside together and then they share with each other in a space that what inside that they get from the market and how it's gonna affect to our customer. It's mainly gonna be affect by, by affect to buy a bus and to buying power, uh, the time of people. It's gonna affect to um, the, the perception about the industry. Um, develop leadership for example so i think it's very good if, or channel or i think it's very good if you can ask them to do it have a short report about it and then they can share and learn from each other because they're not going to be a final clear outcome for macro research it's just about the key insight that you're drawing from the report yeah cool i think this is a good question okay uh how about other people Two, more, two minutes left. Do you have any other concern or question? Or do you, you don't know where to start? Okay, if it's all good for you, then you can wait for all good. And also, I want to ask you, uh, cool. So also, I want to ask you uh, in the next page, uh, so I think in this space, it's not going to be um, a loss because it's going to be you asking me and we're going to share the GCB. But then in the next space, uh, do you have any specific research that you want to discuss deeper about? Like for example, you don't know how to do competitor analysis or uh, product pricing analysis. Then uh, you can propose the, the topic here so that in the next space, we can uh, come and discuss about it.
I want to know about those to have more of your insight. Uh, you mean the you mean the example? Yes, example. Ah, I see. Okay. A better analysis. Okay, got it. Me, uh, me and my member are gonna leave. Okay. Uh, okay, Min, uh, do you have any suggestions uh, on any topic? You can tag me so that I can, in the next consultancy space, we can uh, come and share about it, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Um, so uh, I think this space is, is going to be um it's gonna be finished here so um because okay cool thank you then that for reply so i think this space is um over here um the main objective for today is uh i'm gonna let you know about the big picture and so that you can know what kind of, of research that you need to take so that from here you can review about the guideline that you have and you can see whether you can cut down some research or where, which part of the research you need to work in deeper. Um, so in the next page, uh, the main thing that I am uh, intend to work in, to uh, talk with you is I'm going to give you the competitor analysis, the, the example about it, and also for the customer interview, how we can conduct uh, the customer interview so that in the next page we can understand the way that we questioning the people and to draw the insight. Cool? Yeah, um, so I think that's all. I am um, less over the mic and say bye bye or say if you have any concern. Thank you, Ni. I'm okay with everything. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. I will update more in the um in the booklet. Yes. Thank you, Ni. I already add the suggestion topic in the comment chat. You can check mm. for the next topic. Good job. Okay.